Welcome back to Surviving and Thriving, where we share with you the things that we have learned as we have transitioned our family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it, in the hopes that something that we share with you will help you, enlighten you, and encourage you as you transition your family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it. There are times when you're going through life in this health journey, right, where appetite is just not there. Um, and when we don't get in the nutrition that we need because we don't have the appetite, food don't taste too good, we lose strength quickly. And when you lose strength, it becomes harder to eat because it takes a lot of energy to chew, right? Um, and you just lose the desire for food, period. You just lose the desire for food, period. But it's important for us to get that nutrition in because our cells regenerate every day. We get new cells every day and that strength helps us to have a fight. That strength from the nutrition that we get actually gives us um, the ability to ward off the things that we're going through, but it's important for healing. We need the, the nutrition. Our body needs nutrition to strengthen. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I have learned throughout the years that I utilize and have utilized for many years. I use it in the down seasons. I also use it in the up seasons. And so here it is. I'm going to start off with probiotics. Probiotics are very important. Do we have any more of the other probiotic that I, that I drink that I drink all the time? Um, probiotics are very important. You can get them inside of like your Greek yogurts. You want a probiotic that has, um, it says in the billions, in it, I use probiotics all the time. My family uses probiotics all the time. It's good for your gut health, for your stomach health, um, which is important because most diseases come from the stomach. So most of the things that you're dealing with, the better your stomach is, the better you're going to have an opportunity to deal with it. Do we have any more? We don't have any more. It's time to make a health food store run. So there is another probiotic I usually get at the health food store, but when I am not at the health food store and I can't get that, I just run to the regular store like I did this morning and I just get kefir and kefir if you look at this kefir it says that it is this is a 99% lactose free probiotic I have it with blueberry flavor but they have strawberry and other flavors that you can get and if you look on it it says on here that it has live active 12 probiotic cultures it has 15 to 20 billion CFUs, and then it give you a list of the different um, probiotics that is contained in this. And so, um, kefir, it's like a yogurt. It's pretty good. You can um, eat it like a yogurt or put it inside of your protein drinks. We're going to talk about those today. You can just get a tablespoonful of it um, per day. I get another thing that is only, I can only find it at the health food store, and I usually take that um like a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of it with, and here's how you can take it. You can take it with the meal and you can take it in between meals. When you take probiotics with the meal, what that does is it helps you with your, it has a lot of digestive enzymes in it. It helps you to digest your food, um, which is good because if you're not chewing your food good, different types of food, use different types of things. There's a lot that goes into that. I'm not really going to go into it right now. Are you okay? But it actually helps you to, um, digest your food to help your body to produce the different enzymes that you need to produce and to get your food to digest so that you're not dealing with a lot of different things, right? Constipation and other things that come with that. When you take it in between your meals, it's really good for you because it does other things that the digestive enzymes do for you other than breaking down food. You're not eating right now, so you don't have to break down food. So then it can do some things to go in and heal your gut heal your um, body. A lot of people that deal with like Crohn's disease, um, a lot of disorders dealing with the gut, they're lacking probiotics. I probably should do a video on that one day on how to heal your gut because there's some things that you can drink that's natural, some things that you can do that actually can heal that Crohn's disease. Um, they don't tell you that as doctors, but there's some things that you, have, you can do. I have done some things that actually to heal the lining of my gut. Um, and I, I probably should do a video on that to share that with you one day. But if you have those kind of issues, get a, a, a naturopathic doctor. They can help you with that. So here's this. So I do this every day. This is a good thing to do. My family also um, takes probiotics as well. You can get some in your Greek yogurts, but your Greek yogurts don't have as many probiotics as your 
probiotic things do. So you might want to find something that's high in the billions in your probiotic. The other thing that I do, you guys, especially when I find that the appetite is not there and I still need to get nutrition in, is I do boat house farms. There are a lot of different kinds of things that you can get. You can get them in your local grocery stores. You can get them in your health food stores as well. But I choose to do uh, boat house farms. There, there's a lot of different kinds. You can get all carrot juice. You can get you know a mixture with your fruit juice. You can get um, mango. I like this one. In this one, it has spirulina, green tree, uh, green tea, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, wheat grass, garlic, Jerusalem artichoke, Nova Scotia douche, douche um, iron, magnesium, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin 12, um, B12, and vitamin C. It, it, it includes the juice of apple, pineapple, mango, banana, and kiwi. I usually like to drink this. Now, you can drink this by itself. And I've done this many ways over the years, and I've used different varieties of it. Sometimes I'll, I'll switch out into something, you know, different, a different flavor. But I usually typically get um, this one. You can take it. What's the issue? You okay? Okay. You can take it by yourself. By itself. You can drink it by itself. You can also um, mix it. Sometimes I'll mix it with the juice. When you're getting your juices, be very careful with your juices because on the juice level, it could say 100% fruit juice and it could be a mixture and a blend of juice. And just because it says um, apple juice, cranberry juice, grape juice, whatever it says on there, it might not be purely that. It can have pear juice. It can have a whole lot of different things inside of it, even though it says 100% juice, meaning that it has a lot of different juices in it, but it's not purely that one juice that you're thinking that you're getting. And sometimes even when you look on the ingredients, the ingredients it's important because it may say 100% cranberry juice, but it may have cranberry juice and water and azorbic acid in it. So you need to watch, and it doesn't tell you the percentage of the water per juice. So you have to look at those kinds of things. I usually like to make a variety, do a variety of juices. I may go through pomegranate juice for a while, and then I'll switch up on the next bottle, I'll get cranberry juice. If you're getting pure cranberry juice, it's going to be tart. It's not going to be sweet. If it's sweet, it's mixed with some stuff. And today, I just have a generic brand, um, and it's 100% prune juice. There is no water in this. There's just prune juice in this. Um, so you can mix these. You can mix this with the juice if you um, like. You can also mix it with your Greek yogurt or your probiotic in there um, with your, your green juice. I also utilize um, different things. Sometimes I might mix greens, uh, kale greens um, in with it in a blender. I may mix, what else are you? Spinach, thank you baby. I may mix spinach in it um, with it as well. You do whatever you like. There was a season, you all, when I did not use this. We were going for a specific goal and we use, I have this big handy dandy yeah. juicer and um, we would juice, 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 juice. With the juicer, it takes the peel off, it separates the peel, it separates all of that and you get just pure juice out and we would juice purple cabbage, purple carrots, all kinds of things. When you're doing juicing, it takes a lot of vegetables to get one little glass of juice. It's not a cheap thing to do, but it's a very nutritional thing to do depending upon your goal. And at the time we were in a life and death situation and I was juicing. So that's what we were using. But when I'm not doing that and I don't feel like I need to do all of that, this is what I use. So with this, I can put it in a glass, I can mix it up, I can add anything I want to do to it, or I can put it in a blender and mix it in with some vegetables from fruit or vegetables. I put kale, I put spinach, and then a lot of times I may put Mango, today we have pears, we may use apples, you can use bananas, whatever it is that you like to use. There's different ways that you can do it or you can just drink this purely straight from the bottle. I liked it, it was pretty good for me. By itself, just drinking it by itself, it's not the most tasty, it's tasty, but it's not um, the most tastiest that you can have. But by itself, there was many times, you guys, when I didn't have a lot of appetite, I hadn't eaten a lot. Um, I may take one bite of some peas in a day and that may have been all I ate. My husband would give me this and I would just gulp this down. It was it was good to me at the time. It was really tasty to me at the time. But 
it all depends on what your taste is. It's tasty, but there's some other things that you can add to it to make it even more tastier. I guess that's a better way to say that. But I will gulp this down, and I have um, suggested this to a lot of people when they didn't have an appetite. Um, my grandmother, when she was going through some things and they could not get her to eat, her strength was weak. I suggested they got this for her, and she just guzzled it down. So this is something that is good caregivers to give your loved ones when they're going through and you're having a hard time giving them something to, to get nutrition in them. This is a good thing to use. So with this, I never... Um, well, I don't want to say never. I often, most often don't use it by itself. I will use some sort of protein drink with it. Right now, I am using this organic vegan protein drink. It's a vanilla drink with it. Um, I sometimes use whey protein with it. I may use um, rice protein. There's a lot of different things that mix it up. This one is almost empty. I say by... I don't know, maybe another month we'll probably need it by the end of the month. October sometime we'll probably have to get a new one if we make it because, yeah. But um, so this is what we use for that right now. I use this protein drink. I usually put some collagen powder in it. Different seasons I use different things. I can mix iron, some drops of iron with it. Um, what else? Astragalus, echinacea. What else do we use in there? Golden seal in it, ginseng in it, anything that you want to mix in it, you can um, also mix in it. So I just wanted to show you these things. You can use it in a blender and mix everything in a blender. You can juice if you if you want. And sometimes you can just get one of those cups with a shaker. We have to get me a new one and just mix it up. But these are the things that I would suggest that you use. This will get you some good nutrition and help you to get energy and strength and it's delicious. The other things you add to it can be um, tailor-made for whatever your health care issue is. But I would add the protein in it because you need protein for healing. But you need to make sure that that's okay for whatever it is that you're dealing with to get protein. There are some things where people need to stay away from a lot of protein. And I just mix it all up, pour it in a glass. Now, I have been blessed. My husband used to do this for me every single morning. And our children have risen up and they do a lot of this. For me, so I'm gonna let them show you. Y'all don't mind? No, no, no. To make a drink for your mother this morning because I have not had my drink. Why don't you come on over here and help your mom? You want a tablespoon, teaspoon? What do you want? Mm -hmm. Come on, girls. You guys don't usually make it. <laughs> These are the ones that usually make it for me. You guys get a spoon. You want a spoon? Mm -hmm. We can make it really simple because the video has been kind of long. We don't have to. Do a fruit juice. You don't have to make me a smoothie this morning. But you can just make me a drink. Show them how you would make me a drink. These are the two. These are my daughters that usually make me drinks. So we'll let them show you. You can do whatever you want to do. You have, you can actually use a blender if you want. You got prune juice. You got different things. What are you going to make? Uh, well, normally we use yogurt. Okay. Can we get that? You can use yogurt. We'll get the yogurt if you want. You got keeper right here. Why don't you use the keeper? All right. We decided we're going to use the keeper. We're gonna use the keeper. We got it. We don't need the good Go ahead. Um, so we can just like pour some of this into the cup. Okay. Are you guys gonna use yogurt or the keeper? You're gonna just mix it in a cup today? Yeah. Okay, that's great. And you don't need like a whole lot, but you can get some and then you can take some of the keeper. My children actually like to drink this and um, as well. My whole family do it. We do smoothies in the morning. We'll make drinks in the morning. And so it'll kind of change the color once you add both of those things in it. Why? Can you move the bottles? I can't see the glass. Thank you. You got to there's a stick in And then... That's the uh, organic vegan protein powder. You can just add one of those. Things. So you should put in like one scoop in there? Yeah, we put one okay. scoop. And I find it best making it in here because mm -hmm. it'll, it'll blend everything it together better. So why don't you pour it in there then? All right. You don't need to pour it. We need a top for the blender. So you pour it all in there. Well, since we're going to use the bread, do you want to put any greens or anything in there? That may be good. some kale. You want some kale? Get some kale. I got you. And then we'll put just a little that. bit more of this so we can make it up for everybody.
The other great thing about this is sometimes like they'll make a lot and then they'll just put it inside of a shaker for me or inside of um, something, a, a container, some type of Tupperware, and then I can drink on it for a few days. And usually I just drink one in the morning, one a day, but it's up to you where you're at in your life and your health goes are if you want to drink, if you want to drink more than one. So go ahead and open it up. What would you put in here and I with it? She's working on the kale. What else would you put in there? I would probably add pears or some sort of fresh fruit. You would add fruit? Well, we have this mango. You guys want some mango? Well, I think it's ready. This one's ready. The other one isn't ready, but this one's soft. This one's ready. So we can put some mango in there if you want. So how do you know how much greens to put in there, Chanel? Like, if you like a lot of greens in yours, then you might want to add a lot of greens. But if you don't really like how the greens taste, you can barely add any. It's all um, about how you like it. And so basically, it's just how people like it. You can put more vegetables in. You can put more fruit in. You can change the kind of vegetables, change the kind of fruits that you put in. It's basically what, it's up to you, whatever your taste is. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. Can you handle that? So we're Nate, did you Sometimes we put honey in it. Sometimes we put the the mango. Do you want to taste it? I'll see. Sure. Wait. There's a cup. There's a glass. Did we put too much kale? Put too much kale. It tastes real kale-y? Yes. Okay. So what do you want to do? I'm going to put some more mango we'll in there. Yes. You can put some more kefir in there. Mm -hmm. You can put some more. Um, we do have some. Can we refill here? Go ahead, put some in there. You take off the, the peel. There you yeah. go. <laughs>